right here in Dealey Plaza every day is November 22nd. 1963. The folks right here is when they made their turn coming up here on Main Street. I'm going to set this scene for you. November 22nd, 1963. 50,000 people, a mob on both sides of the street. Every single window in downtown has a face looking out of it. The people in Dallas went crazy. They came down here open, pleading, begging, just to get eye contact or a glimpse of the president first lady. And if you wanted to shoot and kill the president of the United States, it would have been easy to do. It is now 12.25 p.m. November 22nd. The motorcade is right here, coming down Main Street. And at this exact same time, back in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., Witnesses are being called to testify to the biggest political scandal of the 20th century. They are making a case against the Vice President LBJ. How can a man who's never had a real job before, he's never been in the private sector, always a public servant, outside of his wife's money, amass a personal fortune of $15 million? He paid Mr. Whaley one dollar. He stepped out in front of that taxi and on foot. He backtracks right where they just drove past as Lee Harvey Oswald walks right through this door at 1026. He goes to the left side of that house to his room. He picks up a light colored zipper jacket and his 38 caliber Smith and Wesson revolver. And I'm going to make a right hand turn on this next street coming up. It's called Denver Street. This is where it all happened. Paul's wall reaches from under that light colored zipper jacket, pulls out his 30 caliber Smith and Wesson, and that shit was also ticked four times. They are looking for a cop killer. Then Sergeant Hill, he hears a scuffle break out downstairs. It takes seven Dallas police to restrain Oswald. They find his 38 caliber Smith and Wesson on this person, and boy, do they ever. Folks, Oswald has it in his hands with the hammer cocked, and the barrel of that gun is in the stomach of an elder Dallas policeman, a policeman named Nick McDonald. And McDonald was so fortunate that he felt that he reached down, and right here, his part of his hand went between the hammer and the gun. Oswald pulled the trigger, and the hammer slammed on his hand. Otherwise, McDonald was shot. When he get the handcuffs on Oswald, he says, Yes, it's all over now. This is it. This is not America. This is police brutality, and I have done nothing. And I'm ashamed of We have a white male, brown hair, about five foot ten, and uh, he was armed with a 38 uh, pistol. They tested how the firing pin hits on the back of those shell casings. To the firing pin and the hammer on Oswald's 38, and it was a 100% match. Folks, it is now midnight, November 22nd. At this point, Oswald has been officially charged with the murder of Officer Dickinson. He is about to be charged with the murder of the President of the United States. Folks, there was another man in the room that night that was neither of those. He's standing in the corner wearing sunglasses, and in his pocket is a Colt 38 revolver. Anybody know the name of this man? That's right, Chad Ruby. That's what he was known as here in Dallas. And his real name? Jacob Rubenstein. But who is Jack Ruby? Jack Ruby, born and raised in Chicago. He came to Dallas, became a businessman. He owns some nightclubs. He owns some of those girly girl clubs, if you know what I mean. Ruby spends most of his day down at Dallas Police Headquarters. He knows those guys. When he walks in down there, the police wave at him and go, Hey, Jack, how you doing? So Ruby, he asks police, what's going on with Oswald? And they tell him that Oswald is going to be transferred from the Dallas City Jail to the Dallas County Jail. And that transfer is going to happen the next day, Sunday, November 24th, at 10 a.m. 
Now, folks, I'm going to turn right up here on the street, Commerce Street. If you look to your left, it'll be the red brick building to the right of the castle, the old red courthouse, right there. That's the old county jail. That's where Oswald's being transferred to. That tunnel leads down to the basement of the transfer of Paul's wall. Thank you. 